Aberdeen were looking for their first ever victory in Dingwall. Carey's corner towards Quinn at the front post. Back it comes to Carey. Oh, and Reynolds slipped there. And he got just about enough on it to clear the ball before Arkan could strike. Logan's throw. Back it comes to the right back and Rooney went front post. It was a good header and Mark Brown had to be alert at the front post. Begins free kick, there's Ash Taylor, good save by Brown and Irvin is there to clear. They all looked onside from an Aberdeen point of view, took a touch perhaps off Rooney on its way through. Ash Taylor's initial header, ricocheting off either Rooney or Boyd, Brown reacted well. Ryan Jack hoists one back into the box, McGinn challenges with Irvin. It's Shea Logan working it onto the left foot. And it was always rising. Shea Logan for a right back. He's already scored twice this season. Decent enough effort. Break the way of Hayes and he looked for Rooney who tried to steal a march in the middle. Adam Rooney, who has 12 goals this season, just two in the league. Toshny. Now Carey. Look towards the back post for Gardine. Gardine surveying his options. Good ball in two. Headed wide by Quinn. Well, it was a decent opportunity. Paul Quinn, who scored against St Mirren in their last league game. Niall McGinn now. Logan is his main option, instead he cuts in, and the header comes from Rooney. Adam Rooney got the winner against Hamilton in the League Cup, the only goal in midweek. Not too far away there. Darren Barr given away by Ross County here goes McGinn this is promising for Aberdeen good ball in two and it's in the back of the net Rooney celebrates but it looks like an own goal Paul Quinn the unfortunate defender well it was given away so cheaply by Boyd and McGinn made them pay. Quinn was under so little pressure. He had time to clear the ball, but instead he could only fire it past his own goalkeeper. And Aberdeen have the lead in Dingwall. Short from McGinn to Hayes. McGinn again. Flood with cries of shoot from the Aberdeen support. Instead it comes to Reynolds. Considine now. Well, Andrew Considine was sent off on his last visit here. Aberdeen faring much better this time around. One up and looking to build on it. Considine collects from Scott Brown's kick out. And again, Ross County give it away in defence. It's Jack. Opens the play out to Logan. Logan, an early ball in. Here's Peter Pollitt. Good hits. And it ricochets off the frame of the goal. Aberdeen looking menacing at this moment. Both sides know that they can move up the table with a victory. Aberdeen could go fifth. Ross County could move off the basement. Hayes gives it away to Kish. Now Carey from range, and it's palmed out to Boyce. Well, it's probably the best opportunity that Ross County have made. Liam Boyce unable to turn it goalwards after Carey's long range dipping effort 
That was a real chance for Liam Boyce. Considine. Rooney finds himself out wide, beats the first man. Good ball into the cross come shot, knocked over the top by Scott Boyd. Adam Rooney, always a danger. Flood to Ryan Jack. Great ball out to find Logan. Now Shea Logan and Pollitt. Well, how many chances do Aberdeen want to finish this game? Peter Pollitt, the next to miss. He scored the third when the teams met in September. A convincing 3-0 victory for Aberdeen. Irvin, beaten by Flood. Now Hayes. Gives it away, Irvin again. Boyce, and was that a handball? Certainly there were a few in the home support that felt they could have had a penalty there. Willie Collum quite clear. Looked to come off the chest of Reynolds. Either way, there was little the defender could do about it. Hayes to Goodwillie. Substitute plays it back to the Irishman. Now Johnny Hayes goes outside his man. It's good play by Hayes. And Scott Boyd got a crucial touch on the pullback. Still on for Aberdeen. Flood it almost got a touch off David Goodwillie on its way through. Well, Flood with the second effort. Johnny Hayes. Continuing his fine form that he's been displaying this season. Hammered away. Monacana. Now Goodwillie. And Flood. And is this the chance for Aberdeen to finally finish this game? Back it comes to Willow Floods. And it's a similar finish, but Aberdeen will hang on for the third straight game they have won by a goal to nil.